Hey, what's up, guys? I wanted to share with y'all an interesting item that I just picked up. This is the Re-Up Vandalier by Shaw Concepts. I've had my eye on these for a while, and I was trying to hold out for the M81 Woodland version, but I got tired of waiting, and I went ahead and pulled the trigger and just got the Ranger Green. Very pleased with it, and I think it's a very well thought out, simple, yet effective Vandalier. As you can see, it, it comes with this shock cord, and you can wrap it up once you get it all loaded up how you want it. And then you can tuck that away in a rucksack or maybe in a salt pack or something. And then there's your extra supplemental ammo for whatever type of mission or situation you might be involved in. So I thought that was a very cool feature as well. And then we'll unwrap it and lay it out here. And I'll show you guys just how I have it set up. So I went with the 5.56 version. And you get four cells that'll hold 30 round, one 30 round magazine each. They also make a 308 version. I think it has three magazine cells. And then you get these two pouches on each side here. And you can fit just miscellaneous items in there. So I'll show you guys what I have in there. And I've just been messing around with it for a couple of days to figure out what fits and, and what doesn't really fit. So I was pleased to find out that the cat tourniquet this is the gen 7 it fits just fine so that's great and i went ahead and picked up four more p mags and got those all loaded up to dedicate to this particular bandolier so got that squared away and then over here on this side you get these this other pocket and i got a streamlight polytech with a theorem switch back on there so that fits fine with no issue. And I just stuck a chem light in there because chem lights are handy. And then it can also fit like a Gerber multi-tool that fits in there just fine. You know, you just swap items around however you may see fit. If you mess with it a little bit, you'll figure out what fits and what doesn't fit. And you could probably find some configuration that's gonna be suitable to what you need. So that's just a few of the ways I've been messing with it since I got it. And really excited to start implementing this into some different loadouts and stuff and, and be able to do some experimenting with it, uh, which I've already started doing. And you get your nylon strap here that you can wear crossbody style, like a traditional bandolier, which is something that I will be utilizing and then you get just a quick release buckle there you know just a fast text buckle so definitely a quality little bandolier with some very cool features i, I feel like and i think it's going to be awesome and i got i got some pretty i got some ideas about how i want to use this thing and and really put it out there and, and get some use out of it. So, and it does have a two-way zipper on it, so that's cool. So you can zip it either way, you know, whichever way is convenient for you, whether you're left-handed, right-handed, however you wanna wear it. And what I've been doing with the shock cord is I'll just take it and tuck it down in this little cell here on the end. And then that'll kind of keep that out of the way. That way I don't have to worry about that. Just kind of hanging around out there in the breeze and maybe snagging on something. I'll just tuck it in there and then we're good to go. So, but yeah, Shaw Concepts, the Re-Up Bandolier. Check it out if you're interested. Um, you probably heard of them. Maybe you haven't, but I don't have any affiliation with them just for the record. I purchased this with my own money just because I, I really thought it was cool. So I wanted to go ahead and grab one. So that's, that's what I got for you guys. Give it a look if you like to. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm out of here.